glad to be here. Are you glad to be here? Amen. At this time, we're going to give way for our scripture and our prayer. Can we say amen? I'm glad to be here. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I might be old. Well, uh, born at night, but not last night. Amen for the Lord. Amen for the Lord. Amen for the Lord. Freaking under God ahead of my life. Pastors, ministers, from the choir stand to the back row. Thus said the Lord. Bear me for a minute, because I'm kind of confused right now. Yeah, but we'll come out of Psalms 133. 113. See? 113. Verse 1 and 3. Thus said the Lord. Pray ye the Lord. Pray, O ye servants of the Lord. Pray the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forever. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. I read Psalm 133, 113, verse 1 and 3. May the Lord have blessed the reader's holy name. Amen. Good morning, New Hope. As we just got through singing, I'm so glad to be here. Could be anywhere else, but Lord, we are here. We're not here live, we're here on, on live stream. So Lord, we are so grateful. And Lord, we come today, Lord, and say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we come this morning, Lord. <laughs> Lord, just to say thank you. <laughs> you woke us up. And Lord, you start us on our way. Woke up. Almost didn't know where I was going. <laughs> but Lord, you started me on my way. Yeah. And brought me to the house. Yeah. Lord, we just want to thank you right now, Lord. Thank you for your son, Lord. Heavenly Father, we come, Lord, and ask you to forgive us of all our sin, Lord. Yeah. That sin and that's seen and unseen. That sin that's known and unknown, Lord. Lord, we just come, Lord, to ask you to forgive us for them, Lord. And we just thank you. We thank you for this church, Lord. We thank you for these ministers. We thank you for our pastor, for our first lady. Lord, continue to touch and keep them as you only know how. We don't have to worry about nobody else, but you know how. And Lord, we just want to give you all the praise and honor and the glory this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. At this time, we welcome the person for our announcements and our welcoming. Can we say amen? Good morning, church. Giving all praises to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Giving honor to our pastor and First Lady, it's good to see you. It's my honor to welcome you today to our service. Um, we would like to welcome you if this is your first time in our service here in the audience or online. And if you're looking for a church home, please consider New Hope. God bless you. Good morning, church. I said, good morning, church. Good morning. All right, let's hear it. I am coming with your announcements this morning. 
for the week, and there's just a few of them, so I'm going to take my time. Amen. The New Hope Baptist Sunday School Department is recruiting help for 2024 Vacation Bible School to be held from June 24th through June 28th. Our theme this year is God's Rock, Solid Truth in a World Shifting Sand, comes from Romans 12 and 2. Help is needed in all areas. We need teachers, assistant teachers, kitchen help, registration and games and activities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> For more information, please contact Reverend Boone or Deacon Thompson at 831-394-5118. For more details, that's the church. P.S. Our first meeting will be Monday, May 20th at 6 p.m. That's tomorrow. And we have one this afternoon after church immediately in the social hall. Don't leave. Go back there. Yeah. We need you. We need each other. Yeah. Our next announcement is the WMU. This is my favorite. The WMU is sponsoring our Father's Day brunch this year, as always, June 15th is the month and the day, and we will be having a brunch to honor our fathers. Now this thing says a whole lot of different things because I wrote it so I can expound any way I want. Um, so I just want to invite you men, please sign up. There's a sign up sheet in the vestibule, there's a sign up sheet in the back. We just need numbers just so we can see. We want to make enough food so that you all can enjoy yourselves for that day. So please, ladies, you know what you are tasked to do. Um, Mount Nebo Baptist Church. Today, this afternoon, the church will be going over to Mount Nebo. The men will be singing. And if you need the address, please see me. It is um, 440 Airport Boulevard, Suite B in Salinas. I, this is not an official announcement, but I've been led to read this. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Let me repeat that. The Lord is good. Now, I can't be misunderstood. He is, he's full of mercy. He's oh so kind. The things he can do can blow your mind. In times of trouble, he's always there. He's your strength, your troubles he'll bear. Trust in him with all your heart. The Lord is good. He's always, he always does his part. And the scripture we've referenced is Nahum 1 and 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. This is from our own poet, Sister Mary Dandridge. Thank you for your time and God bless. thing in reference to that uh, the time at Mount Nebo is 3.30 today. Amen. Amen.
was a sinner. The most things that I did was wrong. One day God stepped down in my life. You know he has made me strong. to bless him, y'all know. Yeah, you know we've been good to you. It's all right to bless him. I know you're going through something, but it's all right. Thank you, Lord. 
Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's time for prayer. <laughs> thank you, Lord, for letting me get my thank you out. Thank you. Thank you. This time on our prayer list, we're praying always for Pastor Carter and Lady Carter. We're praying for them. We're praying for all pastors and all ministers and all churches. We're praying again for Ocean View and Lady Murray on today. We're praying for our fathers and mothers, Dad Holland, Dad Williams, Dad Morgan and Dad Morgan. We're praying for our mothers, Mother Jackson, Mother Bean, Mother Martin, Mother Davis, Mother Davison, Mother Doll Estelle, Mother May, Mother Watts, Mother Ashley, Mother King, and Mother Baines. We're praying for those who have lost loved ones. We see you, Sister Vanessa. Vanessa Smith's in the audience today. Praying for the Alexander family, the Mitchell family. Dad Williams, we're missing Sister Nellie this morning, but we're praying for her and you, the Williams family. Praying for Sister Dunham. We're praying for the Woodruff family from the loss of Juanita Woodruff, whose services will be on the 31st of May here at New Hope at 11 a.m. Those in prayer also, we're praying for Sister Carlos Crow, Brother Tillman Hunter, Sister Alona Cooper, Sister Joanne White, we see you. We're praying for Brother Andrew, and Sister Margaret Washington, and Brother Willie Hamilton. I don't know about you, but I, the preacher, also stand in need of prayer. At this time, Reverend Trope will lead us in prayer. What a made up mind. Father, we come to you now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for our uprising this morning. Father God, you didn't have to do it, but Father God, you saw fit to, Father God. Thank you for your love for us, Father God, for sending your son, Jesus the Christ, Father God, to die for us, Lord God, so that we might have life. Thank you for your redemption power, Father God. Lord, we just glorify you, Lord God, not because we've been so good, God, but because you are good, Lord God, worthy to be praised, worthy to be uplifted, God. Your name, which is above every name, Father God. Lord, we thank you. Father, we come to you now petitioning your help, Father God, for those who are in need of prayer, Father God. First and foremost, I ask that you would touch our pastor today. Father, your man of God, your angel that you have put over this house, Father God, encourage him right now, dear God. Lord, let him speak your truth today, Father God. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that the joy of the Lord will be his strength, dear God. I pray for Sister Carter right now, Lord, that you would touch and minister to her. Father God, she always have a smile on her face, but Lord, I know all the time everything ain't good, Lord. But, Father, I thank you for her spirit, Lord God. I thank you for this church, Father God, that you allowed me to be a part of, Father God. I thank you for your people of God, Lord God, that are here today, Father God, and those that might be at home today, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, for the ministerial staff, Father God. I thank you for my brothers, Lord God. I thank you for how they love you, God. I thank you for how they're continuing, Lord God, to learn more about you, Father God. Then I thank you for our elders, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, for the elders of this church, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, for what you have instilled in them, Father God, what they have learned over the years, Lord God, that they can pass on to us, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, for those things, Lord God. Lord, touch them now, Father God. Lord, I pray that you would touch our deacons and deaconesses, Father God. I pray, God, that you would touch from the front to the back, 
side to side today, Father God. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you would touch the sick and shed in those behind prison walls, the bereaved today, Father God. Lord, touch right now in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. Lord, we are in need of you, Father God. Lord, we're asking you to touch every church door that's open in your name, God. Lord, touch over there at Ocean View, Father God. Well, Lord, you know the situation over there. I don't even have to talk about it, Lord. You know, Father God. And I'm asking you to minister. I'm asking you to speak, Lord God, to those over there, Lord God, to make it through, Lord God, and then bring the proper uh, order over there, Lord God, that you would have, dear God. Lord, because you know what they need, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that you do. Father God, thank you for your young people, Father God. Lord, those that do come to church, Lord, even those that don't, Lord God. Lord, I pray that you would touch them. I pray, God, that you would speak to their mind. I pray, Father God, that you would minister to them, God, so that they will know, Lord God, that you are the answer, Father God. Lord, let them taste and see that the the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in you, O oh God. I thank you, Lord God. If we seek ye first, Lord God, the kingdom of God, everything else that we need, O oh God, will be added on to us, Father God. Speak to our hearts, God, this morning. Lord, minister to us, Father God. You know what we need, Lord God. You know our shortcomings, God. You know where we need to be built up. You know where we need to be torn down at, God. You have your way, Lord God. Minister to us, God. Have your way, Lord. Let your spirit, oh God, fall down on us today, Lord God. Let your spirit, oh God, do what it's supposed to do, which is minister to our soul, Lord God. Make us better than we was yesterday, Lord God. Having a made-up mind, God, to serve you, oh God, not only today, but each and every day that we live. Father, I thank you and I glorify your name, Father, for all that you do, God, because you are righteous, God. You are a mighty God, Lord God. Thank you for creating the heavens and the earth, oh God. And Father, we're going to praise, we're going to honor, we're going to glorify you for all that you do, God, in this day, God. All these blessings, Father, I ask for in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Oh, what a wonderful altar prayer from Reverend Trope this morning. Now it's the time that we all can participate. It's, it's giving time. And God loves the cheerful giver. But as the ushers come forward, let me tell you the different ways that we can give. You know, New Hope Baptist Church is accepting the online and mobile tithes and offerings. How do you do that? NHBC.seaside.com, uh, P.O. Box 834, Seaside, California, 93955, www.giblify.com. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you just as humble as we know how, Father. Thanking you for what you're doing, what you've done, and what you continue to do in our lives, Father. And Father, we ask that you receive this portion of our gratitude towards giving towards you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We give you honor, praise, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. 
can, will we please stand for our doxology? For this offering may it be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom father we give you honor praise and glory in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name we pray amen glory we're here to worship him come on now
Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship you because of who you are. We thank you, O oh Father, for the privilege of being in the house of prayer. We don't deserve to be here, but you allowed us to be here. You gave us everlasting life through the shed blood of your blessed Son. We clap our hands and give you praise for Jesus. Thank you. We thank you for the marvelous things you have done. Thank you for your Son, the Christ. Thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit who seals us. Thank you for your Holy Word, a lamp and a light that gives us direction. Thank you for the privilege of being in the family of God. Now, God, have your way. Forgive our sin. Let the words of my mouth and meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Have mercy on us. Father, we pray that if there be any that don't know you in the pardon of their sin, they would come crying, what must I do to be saved? We thank you in the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Let every heart say amen. amen. From the 113th number of Psalms, verses 1 through 3. Um, I do want to recognize our newest usher, Debbie Harris. Debbie Harris is in the house. God bless you, Debbie. Man, I've been, we've been knowing each other since junior high school. Look at God. And then I do want to recognize our other new usher. <laughs> Told me don't say nothing, but I gotta recognize it. Let's give a hand, give God a hand for Sister Terry Edwards being here. <laughs> Thank God for her. Came all the way up from Texas. Amen. From Psalms 113, verses 1 through 3, we find these words. Praise ye the Lord. Praise. O ye servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. May the Lord bless the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. You may be seated in the sanctuary. Our theme this morning is Can't Stop Praising His Name. In this text, there is a reoccurring theme. Um, there's a reoccurring theme in this scripture that, that ought to jump off the page to anyone that reads this psalm. Our, our theme clearly states the importance of praising the name of the Lord. Obviously, praising the Lord's name is something the writer, he takes this very, very serious. He does not take it lightly. When we praise the Lord for real, it is a sign that we recognize that the creator of heaven and earth, that the God who created everything out of nothing, the God that created the entire universe, has allowed lowly creatures such as us not only to be brought out of darkness, not only to be brought into a personal relationship with him, but also to call us, to call him our father, which art in heaven. Watch this. this. This father is not like any other father. This father will never leave you nor forsake you. This father, watch this, this father will not only keep you in this life, but when this life is over, he guarantees us everlasting life in the life to come. In this passage of scripture, this psalm is called a hymn of praise. This praise was not a suggestion. This praise is a command. This command is based on how the servants of God, talking about those who love the Lord, how we're to praise God for who he is and for the marvelous things that he has done. How many know God has done marvelous things? Right in the right house. How many know God has done marvelous things? 
And so, and so, and so we, we don't know, we don't know exactly who is the author of this psalm, but the writer not only offers praise to God for himself, but he also encourages others to join him in the praise. Now, anyone here don't mind blessing the Lord with me right now? Anyone? <laughs> oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. And so we bless the Lord for the marvelous things he has done. This approach to God applies even to those of us today as it did back when the writer wrote the text. Those who are New Testament servants who have come to God by faith through the Lord Jesus Christ. The psalmist says in the Hebrew, Halal Yah. Halal Yah, which pro pronounced in the English is hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, now, Halal means praise, and Yah or Jah is the shortened form of the name Yehovah or Jehovah. And what it says is, hallelujah is praise Yah or praise the Lord. That's also what I'm telling y'all to do. I'm also telling you to bless them. <laughs> I'm just not telling you what it means. I'm telling you that's what you ought to be doing. Praise the Lord. The psalmist says, the psalmist says, we who are the servants of God, we who love the Lord, we are commanded to praise Yah, to praise Jehovah. How many know you ought to bless the Lord while the blood is running warm in your veins? We're to praise the Lord in the congregation of the saints. Watch this. In this very first verse, we see the word Lord used three times in the text. By the writer repeating this three times, he is calling the Lord's name. He is signifying that the praise is not only serious, but it is continuous. How many know, wait a minute now, how many know you can't praise the Lord enough? How many, how many, know, how many know that the Lord does not have an expiration on his praise? Verse 1, verse 1. Verse 1 says, we who are the servants of the Lord are commanded to praise the name of Jehovah. There is, listen, there is no other name like the name of the Lord. The Lord's name declares his nature. The Lord's name declares his character. As servants of the Most High God, we have a reason. I said we have a reason to bless the Lord. Some of y'all act like you don't have a reason, but if you know you have a reason, let that reason be known. We have a reason to bless the Lord. The question is, what is the Lord's name? <laughs> Moses, he asked God in Exodus chapter 3, verse 13, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and they shall say unto me, The God of your fathers, and I shall say unto them, the God of your fathers has sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, what is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God says to Moses in verse 14, I am that I am. He said, this shall you say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. God says, I am that I am. God, watch this. God says, I just am who I am. In the English, he says, he says, I am is translated Yahweh. He is the Lord God Almighty who has no beginning and has no end. How many know that God been there before been there got there? God, God, God is who he is. First, because of who he is, we ought to bless his name. We ought to bless him because of who he is. Is the eternal, self-existent, supreme, sovereign, superior, holy creator of heaven and earth. That's why we need to praise his name just because of who he is. But also we should praise his name because of what he's done and because of what he's doing. How many know the Lord has done marvelous things? We praise him for grace. We praise him for mercy. We praise him for salvation. We praise him for forgiveness. We praise him for bringing us into a relationship with himself. How many know you got a reason to bless the Lord? 
Watch this. We praise him not only because of who he is, but also because of what he does. God continually does God things. Let me say that again. God continually does God things. For instance, we are not worthy. We're not deserving of anything but God from God but eternal death. But how many know God looked beyond your faults? How many know God looked beyond your faults and saw your need? God does God things. This is a good reason to praise the name of the Lord. Then in our 113th verse, 113th Psalm verse 2, it says, Blessed be the name of the Lord for this time, from this time forth and forevermore. So the Hebrew word for bless is the word Barak. We're not talking about Barack Obama. The Hebrew word for the word bless is the word Barak. It means to kneel. It means to bless. It means to honor. It means to speak well of. It means to praise. So if anyone has a reason to give God praise, we who really know him ought to bless his name. Am I talking to some folk that really know him this morning? We have a reason. If anyone has a reason to give God praise, we who know him ought to praise him. Those of us who really know him should speak well of him. How many know you ought to be thanking him right now? How many know you ought to be thanking him right now for waking you up this morning? For starting you on your way, clothing you in your right mind? Those of us who really know him should speak well of him. How many know God is a good God? How many know God is worthy to be praised? How many know you ought to thank God and you don't need, watch, you don't need to wait for me to tell you. You ought to know for yourself. You ought to thank him. So, basically verse 2 means the same thing as verse 1, except verse 2 declares there should be no time limit on our praise. The psalmist says, from this time forth and forevermore, we are commanded to bless the name of the Lord. So watch this. Listen, we are to start right now because what you did in the past don't matter, but you are to start right now, today. You are to start right now, today. From this day forward, from this moment forward, and every day from now on until forever, you are to bless the name of the Lord. So I just told y'all what God commands in his word, that we are to start right now, from right now, from this time forward, and give God praise, and folks still looking at me like I'm the one crazy. I'm telling you what he said. We can give him praise from this time forward and forevermore. We are to bless the name of the Lord every chance we get. How many know that tomorrow is not promised to you? How many know that this evening ain't promised to you? How many know that if you know that, you ought to bless the Lord right now? While the blood is running warm. We are to start praising God's name today on this side of heaven. And keep on praising him until we reach the other side. Psalmist says, from this time forth and forevermore, we are to bless the name of the Lord. Watch this. We can't do anything about yesterday. But how many know that we can bless him today? How many know that we can bless him right now? How many know that if you look back over your life and you see this one thing you ought to thank God for, how many know you ought to bless him right now? Watch this. Every time today shows up, you ought to give God praise. Did he wake you up this morning? 
Did he start you on your way? I don't know what you're waiting on. You ought to bless him for waking you up this morning. Every time, every time today shows up, God's name should be praised. That's what verse 3 tells us. Verse 3 says, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. And so the sun rises in the east and goes down in the west. Every morning, the sun rises. Every evening, the sun goes down. When the sun rises, that is symbolic of a brand new day. How many know every day when you wake up in the morning, you ought to give God praise, thanking him for a brand new day. Every day, all day, from sun up to sun down, and from sun down to sun up, the Lord's name is worthy to be praised. Now, now I'm just talking to the folk that believe what I'm telling you. Those who love the Lord, you know you ought to bless him. Go ahead and bless him right now. David, David, David said, David said, and Carter believes it, that I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So when, when, when we get to glory, when we get to glory, when God establishes his new heaven and his new earth, we will all praise the Lord together forever and ever and ever. In the new heaven and earth, there will be no more rising of the sun. There will be no more going down of the same because the glory of God and the light of Jesus will light up the city. But we ain't there yet. We are right here right now. And we have a reason right now. And we have the opportunity right now to praise the name of the Lord while the blood is running warm in your veins. While we are still in the land of the living, on our way to eternal life, we have a reason right now, right here, to praise the name of the Lord. Does anybody here want to bless the Lord right now? We praise him for who he is. Yeah. We praise him for what he does. Yeah. We praise him now uh -huh. and forevermore. Yeah. We praise him from the rising of the yeah. sun yeah. to the going down of the same. Yeah. We praise him uh -huh. for Jesus. Yeah. We praise him yeah. for Jesus. Yeah. I said we praise him yeah. for Jesus. Yeah. We praise him yeah. for grace. Yeah. Praise him for mercy. Praise him for his goodness. Praise him for forgiveness. Praise him for your ups and praise him for your downs. Praise him for goodness. Praise him for forgiveness. Praise him in the good time. Praise him in the bad time. How many know you got a reason to bless the Lord? of your situation because I know folk going through stuff but regardless of your situation his name is worthy to be praised he is the Alpha and Omega the Ancient of Days the Bread of Life the Christ the King the Comforter the Chief Cornerstone the Wonderful Counselor the Deliverer the Door the Elohim should die, the everlasting father, he's our healer. He's the great I am, king of kings, lord of lords, the lamb of God, light of the world, lion of the tribe of Judah, he is the Messiah, his name is Jesus and you ought to bless his name. Psalms 
Psalms 24, verse 7 through 10, it says, lift up your heads, because the Lord knows that we're going through stuff, but in spite of what you're going through, how many know he's still worthy to be praised? And so and so, let's so, all, the Lord says in Psalms 27, verse 7 and 10, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, you everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. His name is Jesus. He came through 40 and two generations. Took nails in his hands, nails in his feet. He died on Friday, early Sunday morning. He got up with all power. If you don't mind, why don't you magnify the Lord with me and give God a hand of praise. I don't know about you, but I can't stop praising his name. He brought me from a mighty long way. Do I have a witness in here? I don't know your testimony, and you don't know my testimony, but I know someone else in there got a reason to praise the Lord other than me. And so when it talks about can't stop praising his name, it's not just talking about from an emotional experience. It's talking about you're commanded to give God praise if you're a child of God. Anybody want to obey the Lord right now? As we remain standing, those who are not standing, if you don't mind standing, as we open the doors to the church, the only way that you can enter into that praise and worshiping him is three things you must do. You must admit that you are a sinner. Do the ABCs here. A, you must admit that you are a sinner, that you don't know him, that you do not know Jesus Christ, and you have not accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior. B, you must believe that Jesus Christ also is a remedy it was him who came, bled, and died. Pastors preached on that. In order to join this praise, to get in on the worship and call him Lord, you have to do that. Then he says you have to confess him. Romans 10, 9, and 10 says you believe in your heart. And with your mouth, confession is made unto salvation. If you do, do those three things, the Bible declares that you are saved. We that have done that, we can join in on the praise. But if you have not done that today, if you do not know him, I would admonish you today before you step outside, before you step out of his presence, you don't have to step out of it, but you can step into him. He'll go with you beyond the doors. And he promised us that he would keep us. If there's one today, if there's just one person, if there's one, one person, in this house, I ask you to come today. Take one step, just one person. You know where you stand. You know your relationship with him. You know if you don't really have a relationship with him. If you're broken fellowship with him. Come on, come on, while the blood is running warm and the spirit of the Lord is in this place. He says, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Pastor reminds us of the ABCs, but he says, don't worry about the D through C because he's willing to walk with you. The Lord Jesus is willing to keep you. Would you come? There's someone else. There's someone else. Would you come? Come on. Don't wait for that person to come. You come. Today might not be that person's day, but today could be your day. Would you come? And then he says this, if you be ashamed of me, 
before men, he'll be ashamed of you when you stand before his father. We extend the invitation. Perhaps you stand in need of prayer. Would you come? You may be seated in his presence, but we still extend unto you the invitation. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. I'm talking about those who believe on his name. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. What the text does not say, that if you have trouble in your life, you don't have to praise him. What the text does not say, is if you have sickness in your body, you don't have to praise him. What the text is not saying, if you lose a loved one, you need to stop praising him. What the text is saying, Regardless of your situation, regardless of your circumstance, God is always worthy to be praised. How many know that whatever you're going through is not bigger than the God that keeps you? Listen, God really don't need our praise. Don't you realize our praise does more for us? than it does for him if you how many know that when you praise God whatever you're going through how many know that you're going to feel better because the Lord going to bless you for praising him don't stop praising his name there's no there's no excuse there's no excuse for a child of God not to praise the God who saved your soul Go ahead and bless him right now if you ain't too mad. If you ain't too cute. If you ain't too sedated, go ahead and watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I bet you can praise him better if you stand on your feet and open up your lungs. If you stand up and open up your lungs, I bet you can praise him even better. I bet you can thank him even better. You can get down and open them lungs up. Go ahead and bless the Lord. Worthy to be praised. We have a number that have come. We have a number that have come. You might be going through whatever you're going through. You might be going through something. You definitely don't have to come up. 
God can reach you where you are. But if you want to come up and connect with your brother and sister here, and while, while, while they're praying for you and we're praying for you, you can be praying for them. We can pray for one another. So if anyone else want to come up, go ahead and make your way up. You shouldn't be ashamed to walk up in the house of God and, and ask for prayer and give God praise. Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. How many know you saved this morning? Yeah. We're going to pray. Anybody that's watching us on live stream, the Lord can reach you on live stream. He's liver than your stream. My God. Yes. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. that name that is above every name, oh, yeah. that name by which every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord to your glory, yes. we come standing in that great name, yes. great yes. deliverer, our great Savior, who came through 40 and two generations yes. to save a wretch like Carter. You put your name there. But he, if he had come for nobody else, if nobody else needed a savior, he would have came just for me. And he would have came just for you. And so we thank you, Father. Thank you for your precious son, the Christ. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your Holy Word. It reminds us that you are a company keeper. You are the rock upon which we stand. You remind us that you are always worthy to be praised. That no matter our situation, that you not only will show up, you will show out. Now have your way, Father. Someone lost a loved one. Someone is going through a sickness in their body. Someone is having a storm and having trouble in their home or on their job, even in their school. Someone is in, 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 in a conflict with their spouse. Someone is in conflict with their children and children in conflict with their parents. Father, we just know that you are the answer. And if we put our trust in you, if we lean not to our own understanding and all our ways acknowledge you, you will direct our path. Have your way, oh God. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. We pray that if there be any that don't know you in the pardon of their sin, Someone would come crying, what must I do to be saved? And then, Father, that once we do the ABCs, we admit we're sinners. We believe that you are the remedy for, that Jesus is the remedy for sin and confess Jesus as Lord and Savior. We can put a period right there. But then, Father, our life goes on, and for, as our life goes on, we need you to keep us all the way from earth to glory. We need you, Father, and we can't get along without you. Trials and tribulations come, trouble come, and we don't know which way to turn it, which way to go, but, Father, you are the way. You're the truth and the life, and if we lean and depend on you, how many know everything will be all right? If you know it, give God a hand of praise. If you believe it. God have your way you know every situation you know every circumstance you know what we need and you know when we need it please oh God have your way and we'll be careful to give you all the honor the glory and the praise and we know we can't praise you enough so we praise you right now by the clapping of our hands from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same your name is worthy to be praised. Thank you, O oh God. In the marvelous name of Jesus, we pray. Let every heart say amen. amen. Right from where you're standing. Yes, 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 thank you. Yes. So, so while we're standing, while we're standing, thank you. Um, tomorrow is our chairman's birthday, Deacon Holland's birthday tomorrow. And he, Deacon Holland's will be 94 years young. So can we sing happy birthday?
directly after the service, we are serving ice cream and cake in the back, so we want you all that can go back, go back and have some ice cream with Deacon Holland. <laughs> Give God another hand of praise. <laughs> Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, henceforth and forevermore. And they all sang together. God bless you, God keep you. Come on back and we're going to have some ice cream. <laughs> 